Hey guys, Sean back here again with another collection room unboxing. And guys, we got a good one today. We got the MYC Sculptures Imperial Probe Droid from the Empire Strikes Back. And this thing is going to be a beauty. I've seen the photos on MYC's uh, Facebook page and I cannot wait to open this. And I have edition size. I've got number two out of a hundred. Stoked on that. Usually I uh, don't care about edition sizes, but uh, it's nice when you get a low one. You feel like uh, you got a little extra bonus. So let's go ahead and break this bad boy open and uh, I'm sure we're gonna have some pieces to put together. Yeah, the box is big by the way. All right, so we got our layer of foam. Looks like we're going to have some arms in here. And we have the probe droid coin. It's pretty dope. NYC droids division, which is awesome. A little coin holder. Looks like we're going to have the post. Looks like aluminum post too, so it's going to be nice and sturdy for us. And then we also have our nameplate. So we got the MYC Sculptures Episode Five: Empire Strikes Back a Viper Probe Droid. We we did not know it was it's called the Viper Droid. I'm going to have to look that up some more. But like I said, low edition size of uh, number two out of a hundred, stoked on that. And then we have our card. It looks like a little credit card style. Edition size, 02 out of a hundred. NYC, stoked on that. All right. all right, so we're gonna have all our little bits and pieces that we're gonna have to figure out how to put together. It's gonna be a nice, fun little puzzle day. So let's go ahead and get the main body out. Let's see. I'm going to try to tilt this up so you guys can see how it's packaged. Turn this sideways here. Ah, so we got a little Hoth snow base. This is pretty dope. You want to grab the turntable? Yeah, we're going to put this up on the old Lazy Susan. <laughs> oh, dude. Look at this. And unfortunately, we've got one small broken piece right here. I will figure out where this goes. It looks like it goes someplace down here. Yeah. We'll figure this out and then nothing, a little zap a gap will fix. So that's not that big of a deal. Just gotta make sure we don't lose it. And let's get the Lazy Susan out. A lot of styrofoam, a lot of styrofoam. But it's well protected, the box came in undamaged you know this paint job looks way better than it did in the pictures in the pictures it looked like it was like an army color and i did not like it yeah this is more of like a uh it's got just a, like a look. it's almost a rustic gray and then with the fantastic uh fantastic paint applications on it it almost gives it that rust effect mm -hmm. and that just adds to it just adds to the detail on it just so it's not so stark. Cause you know, we always thought it was just gonna be, you know, solid dark gray or black, like like in the movies. You know, it's either Han's jacket's blue or brown, but uh, same thing with the, pr the probe droid. I remember those pictures though, and I thought it looked like it was kind of 
army colored or yeah. something. And I, I was like, I don't want it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh dude. Yeah, I'm regretting not getting this. This thing is sick. NYC, you killed it. Uh, just when you see the eyes. Oh, dude. Just the detail on this. This is yeah. freaking awesome. They had bad pictures. Dude, I am so stoked. Now, I was telling the BMX Jedi, like, when they first showed the uh, the sketches that they were going to come out and do this, I said immediately, I was like, I don't care what the price is, I'm getting it. Because, as you know, Empire Strikes Back is my all-time favorite Star Wars movie. Just, just the Hoth scene alone is just unbelievable. All right, and we got a little key in here. <laughs> oh, dude, it's looking sick. All right, let's see what else we got in the box. Uh, we got our museum style base here. Oh, two out of a hundred again. Check this bad boy out. Man, it looks fantastic. NYC is top notch. Uh, the Imperial Cog. So I guess you got the Imperial Cog here, and then if you wanted to go ahead and put the Hoth base on it, looks looks yeah, it lines up like that. Let's go ahead and get our steel pole out. It has notches in here, so we just got to make sure we key that in the right way. Let's check the box, make sure we're not forgetting anything else. I think that's it though. I believe that's it, guys. We just got to put the legs on. Yep. I'm just gonna make sure it doesn't say top or bottom on it. Make sure they're just the same. I kind of twisted it as I stuck it down in there just to make sure it's gonna key in the proper way. And let's take this apart real quick. All right, you can see a little, there's a little notch in there so it's not a perfectly round aluminum pole. So we just gotta line that up. There it is. Man, I tell you what, guys, this thing in person, the paint job's unbelievable. And I, and I know NYC researched and tried to get the proper paint scheme from the uh, Lucas Archives. And if any of you guys are wondering, this thing is, you know, it's pretty much considered a quarter scale statue, but it's very, very close to studio scale. So they said in the description it. It's about 25 inches tall up to the antenna, but we're gonna take measurements and we're gonna weigh this thing when we, when we get it together. There you go. Man, this thing looks sick. <laughs> oh, this looks good. Oh man, this thing's sick. But let's go ahead and get the uh, the legs on it. And I believe under here, uh, all the uh, keyholes are labeled A, B, C, D, and F. So let's pull this thing off and then let you guys take a look. Let's flip it upside down over here. All right. Yeah, so you can see over here, you got them, uh, you got C, E, B, A, D. So all the keyholes look like they're all different. So you shouldn't mix them up. All right. 
Yeah, and it doesn't look like there's uh, a corresponding letter on here, so you just have to find the uh, corresponding keyhole. And they're all magnetic, so you don't have to worry about it slipping out. That one's actually over here. See that one, that one looks like it's there, but there's another one that's very similar, but that one does not fit in there. There you go. So when they do fit in the keyhole, they're gonna fit very snug. Let's make sure we got, yeah, that's the right one. I don't know how the leg. There it is. All right, so that one fits pretty snug to the pole. And we got the last one in. All right, let's go ahead and get this back on the base. So they're very strong magnets, so we don't have to worry about them popping loose. I'm just spin it around so that Aluminum pole keys in because if you don't, it looks like it's got some wiggle to it. It's not fitting right. Yeah, you just got to look down in there and then make sure the snow base is not hindering it. Alright, there we go. Yeah, so that took a little bit of time, so just be patient with it. Get a good grip on it. And we've got our last piece here. Magnetic right into there. And the head. And then we have our antennas. These aren't magnetized, they just slide right in up top. And you can just be gentle with them, but you can push them all the way down. And that's it got the uh, NYC probe droid all together and I tell you what this thing is amazing so unfortunately if you guys missed out on the uh, the regular run of it I'm sure there's gonna be a few on the uh, aftermarket but you're gonna pay the aftermarket price I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys uh, a weight and some measurement on this So you're looking around 26 inches from the bottom of the black base up to the top of the antenna. So we got 26 inches there. And roughly around a 10 inch diameter in the, on the base. So you got a 10 inch footprint by about 20, 26 inches tall. And it's not very wide or in here, so it could fit nicely into maybe a Vesta. And I'm going to pair it with the nice Hoth print I have in, in the background. But that's it, guys. We got the uh, NYC probe droid. I tell you what, this thing's awesome. I'm loving it. So hopefully you guys uh, can find it uh, on the aftermarket or have a friend that might want to get rid of it. Because I tell you what, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. It's my very first NYC statue. And I'm loving it. Loving it. All right, guys. Hopefully, uh, we've got another unboxing coming soon. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If so, hit the like and subscribe button. And always, may the force be with you. Better.
will be with you always. <laughs> <laughs> 